here. It's your boy Fist in his house. Bringing out a great edition of Call of Duty for me to you because that's what I do. Ground War Domination 9v9 PP90. Oh, and it's not rapid fire. No, it's not rapid fire. I'm just using focus. Sleight of hand, assassin, and I believe it's stalker on this one. Maybe steady aim. I, I've been like messing with steady aim, stalker. Every time I'm on parish, man. I thought, you know, the weapon you use was on these small maps with shotguns. Like, I mean, striker. I mean, st I only use a striker if somebody's being a dirt, dirt bag. I was gonna say douchebag, but dirt bag. I mean, a douchebag is just being. A dirt bag is, I don't know, a dirt bag and a douche bag. A douche bag on the game is somebody that's just, you know, being irritating. A dirt bag is somebody that they know they're being irritating. You know, using a striker you know, with damage. I'm like, alright, bitch, you wanna fight fire with fire? Then I'll break out the damn striker on your ass. Now, you know, like, they nerfed the MP7, but they don't nerf the striker. I don't think you can nerf the striker. I mean, it's kind of like saying, why would I use the Dragonoff and the RSS when I can use the MK14 with more, more, better, or better fluidity and running, mobility? Why would I? Why would I do that to myself? That doesn't make sense. So, anyways, the PP90. Look, PP90 is really good. I mean. Obviously, um, the rate of fire. I mean, here's I mean, like I said this in my last video. I mean, the easiest way to break this down is focus in on rate of fire for every weapon. Speed, rate of fire, speed and rate of fire. That's what determines what's going to be the best weapons in the game. Speed, rate of fire off the hip. And you go down the line that way. But on this game on Parish, I mean, um, it's funny to me. Like, everybody loves the small maps. You know, Black Ops sits there and, like, you know, um, Treyarch and Infinity Ward. I mean, Treyarch makes this big deal about, hey, um, you know, we're going to sell you on the idea of Nuketown 2025. It's the, it's the most favoritest map of all time. It's the smallest map, but yet they're. I mean, if you look at every every map that is for MLG, Dome, they play nothing but the small maps in competition. So why even? Why even? If that's what you're focusing on, if you're focusing on MLG, why even make a big map? Why even make a big map? Why do it? Why make a big map? I want to see somebody, you know, whether it's Neversoft, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward. I want to see somebody grab their balls and make 15 small maps. Just do it. What do you care? I think this is the first map that I was saying, you know, that why don't you just, why don't you make a community playlist where you can play 9v9 on all the maps? I mean, obviously not the 1v1s or the 2v2s, but all the 6v6 maps. I mean, uh, Lockdown should be a 9v9 map if this is a 9v9 map. I don't understand that. I think maybe after the point, they got to put in, um, you know, what are the spawn algorithms, as they call them. The spawn algorithms, I mean, listen, the spawn algorithms would just wouldn't work. Because everybody would be spawning on top of each other. But yet I'm going to contradict in my hypocrisy by selling you the 2025 new edition, special edition, reach around, grab package, Nuketown 2025. See? See how that makes sense? Lots of it. Lots of sense, man. Because it's my game, it's my football, and if you don't like it, suck it. <laughs> it's my football. I'm going home. You know what I mean? That's what it. It's what it boils down to. 
It's like, you know, I mean, people go, oh, Fist, you know, you're so full of it sometimes. You're, you're hypocrisy, double standard, blah, blah, blah. It's my channel. If you don't like it, I'm going home. <laughs> it's the same thing that developers do. I mean, they make shit up on the fly. You'll be like, I'll be asking questions that make 100% on Twitter. Like, why, why is it that Nuketown 2025 or Nuketown is your favorite map, but yet you force everybody to play this slow gameplay when your your favorite your most favorite maps that are most played are the small maps why don't you just grab your nuts and make all small maps who cares you know you want to make you want to make a, a sniper game make a sniper game I mean that's already been proven it doesn't work snipers are a novelty sniper sniper was it sniper versus sniper was done by EA. I mean, I would like to see if if Activision if they would take a chance on making an all sniper game with just the snipers that they have now. And let's see how good it does. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, Black Ops like I said is the only reason why that it sells and the only reason why it gained any traction in the first place was because of zombies. And now look at it. Zombies is coming out and Zombies gets more love than Black Ops 2 multiplayer will ever get. Will ever get. Look at the views at Zombies. Then look at the views of multiplayer. I mean seriously, I'm at the point right now where I don't even really care to play Black Ops multiplayer. To be honest with you, I would just buy Black Ops to play Zombies. Cuz I just I mean, I don't even have to play I don't even have to play like I used to play in Call of Duty because I know that like within four within four hours I will master the game. Less than that. Zombies, on the other hand, it's you know people um, don't have the time and know all the little tricks. It's a puzzle game, so whoever takes the most time to spend playing the puzzle zombies game. They're gonna get the most views. I mean, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm thinking about jumping on the bandwagon. You know, I don't really like zombies. I can't stand playing the computer. I don't understand how people can play the computer and have fun. I don't get it. I mean, if I'm gonna do that and waste time, I would just go ride a bike or go work out. I don't. Get, I don't understand that type of. I mean, maybe it's just meditation and it's beyond me. I don't know. I just think that t I think that life is too valuable unless you're interacting with other humans. And co-op doesn't count. That's you're not playing against nobody. You're playing against you're playing against the people that you're with. That's no fun. Hey, let's play together. Oh yeah, that's fun. Let's go ride bikes together. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is this: is that I, like I said, I just want the game to be fast action action I would love to see them make an action-packed game when you guys would love to see an action-packed game I mean you look at it if you look back at Call of Duty 4 that crash map the uh, backlot map they were all small maps they were just condensed and had a lot of shit and you had to move around a lot then it's like every map that came out after that it kept getting longer and longer and longer you ran slower this I mean come on I want to fight I want to just turn my computer on my Xbox and I want to kick ass that's what I want to do I want to run 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 shoot run shoot run shoot run shoot I got 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 you know what I'm saying instant gratification constantly I want to keep pressing that button like a little rat crack on cheese I don't want to sit around and wait for somebody to run by. I mean, the only game that I like doing that in is DayZ. Because it's like, it takes time to get weapons. So when you kill somebody and you take their weapons, then it hurts their feelings, so it makes you feel good. You, you get pleasure from their misery. How can you get pleasure from sitting in a game that moves really fast and then you kill nobody and you'll never be a high score? It's boring. It's ridiculous. So, um, and that's when DayZ works. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope somebody spins off and rips their ideas off. I mean, they have a I think that's the future of first-person shooters slash third whatever. 
It just has to be tweaked and polished and gone in that direction. As far as shooters are concerned, more open uh, field base freedom. Kind of reminds me when I first played Battlefield 2 Modern Combat on Xbox. The freedom to just jump in a helicopter, drive a car, throw C4 on it, make a car bomb, blow up a tank. I mean, the maps were short and they were fun for the console. They don't need, I mean, when you get on a PC, they get ridiculously long. This shit's boring. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck are these developers doing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. If you get a chance, use a PP90. Focus, sleight of hand, assassin, stalker slash steady aim, whatever your cup of tea is. Enjoy it. I did 74 kills. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace! And I'll have the how to be a better Call of Duty player maybe later today. I got some errands I got to run. Anyways, I'm out!